What are dispersing devices or monochromators? Monochromator are the dispersing devices used in spectroscopy. Monochromator produces light of single wavelength. There are two types of monochromators. One is prism and second is diffraction gratings. So let's talk about prisms. The collimated beam is dispersed by the prism into its constituent wavelengths. As the prism is having different thickness, light with different wavelengths get diffracted with different angles and get separated. The prism is rotated to allow a particular wavelength to fall on a focusing lens and then emerge out of an exit slit. Let's talk about diffraction gratings. The grating monochromator have some advantages over prism which are as follows. A grating gives much better dispersion of light than prism as the gratings are usually made up of non-corrosive materials like aluminium which is not easily attacked by moisture. But metal salt prisms are attacked by atmospheric airs easily. Gratings can be used for over a long range of wavelength as compared to prism. A diffraction grating is made by ruling a large number of parallel and equidistant lines on a highly polished surface of a metal such as aluminium. For UV and visible light, these lines must be 15,000 to 30,000 lines per inch but for IR it should be 1500 to 2500 per inch. The light which strikes the ruling is scattered and dissipated or wasted but the light which strikes the unruled portion or grooves is reflected regularly. The reflected waves produce interference pattern which results in the dispersion of light into its component wavelength. The above type of grating is known as reflection grating. The other type of grating is known as transmission grating which are obtained by ruling large number of parallel and equidistant lines on glass. When the light falls on transmission gratings, each groove acts as an individual source of light. The transmitted rays from the grooves produce interference pattern which results in the dispersion of the transmitted light into its component wavelength. The condition for constructive interference is given by n lambda is equals to d sin i plus sin r where n is a positive integer lambda is wavelength of incident light d is the distance between two grooves it is also known as grating constant i is the angle of incident and r is angle of reflection if you like this video please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to receive the latest updates